Hi, I'm Houston Gunn, and welcome to Shooting for Success, your launch pad for skyrocketing to the top. I'm sure many of you out there have heard the expression, dress for success, but what does that exactly mean? Does that mean always dressing in a suit and a tie? There was a time not long ago when a suit and a tie was the norm for almost every occasion. When people used to board a flight, they were always dressed in their Sunday best. And take a look at old footages of baseball games. All the men were dressed just like they just walked off Wall Street. But over time, dressing for success has changed. Does that mean you no longer have to wear a suit and a tie? Well, the answer depends on your occupation, what you are doing, and the impression you are trying to make at that moment. A pro athlete will go to work in the uniform he was provided with. A lifeguard will look ridiculous sitting atop his lifeguard chair wearing anything other than a swimsuit. But these are all obvious examples, just like a ski instructor, a fireman, and military personnel. So let's discuss how to put your best foot forward and always dress for success when it's your decision as how to market and brand your own image. A bad impression can't be replaced and there is a fine line between overdressed and underdressed. So you have to find the happy medium considering what is age and gender appropriate. You might be saying as you're watching this right now, he's in the same shirt as this book. Well, that's how I dress professionally as an author and it's part of my marketing and branding. I'm not in basketball shorts and I'm not in tennis shoes. I'm also not dressed in a suit and tie. I'm dressed age appropriate taking in consideration the image I'm trying to portray. You can walk into a bookstore any day and find me dressed like this at a book signing. Yet, if you saw me at a school or at a bookstore on any other day, I'd be dressed just like any other teen. So the bottom line for dressing for success is to observe those in your industry to see what is socially acceptable as their way of dress. Don't underdo or overdo and be age and gender appropriate. While I believe this clothing is appropriate for my speaking to you today, if I were going on the next space shuttle launch, NASA would be telling me, Houston, we have a problem. I'm Houston Gunn, and make it a successful day.